Jennifer is a great surgeon who took the time to do a thorough job. Where do you get off talking to me like that? How come you're so good about it? What? All well, the way Nicole is with Jennifer. She so has a for her. I'm so glad to be out of that place today. I was a stinker. At least you didn't get her stern talking to from your very disappointed girlfriend. Don't be mean. She's only doing a job. She's the mean one. Not as mean as Isaac, though. I'll give her that. But I've just made a new rule. No more work talk. Hey, says who? It's the only thing I've got to talk about these days. No life. Curse of the new girl. Uh, one failed love affair, two new besties. I don't know what you're moaning about. You're right. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. Hey. Wow. Were your ears burning or what? <sighs> nice things, I hope. I thought you were going home. Yeah, I am, but I thought I'd buy the first round. Oh. <laughs> I'm also making lasagna, so if you feel like dinner later, you're welcome to join me. Well, why don't you stay? No, she has to pick JJ up. Thanks for the drink, but I am still a tiny bit mad with you. However, we may well consider your kind offer. Don't worry, I'll give her a slip later. <laughs> right, I will leave you to it. Well, thanks for the drink. <laughs> You really are a piece of work, Mother. You wouldn't put up with that nonsense. Yes, you would. You adore me. Describe Isaac's face again. Okay. Well, first of all, his nostrils flared like this. And then his eyes got really big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is way harder than it should be. Well, then maybe we need to think laterally. So you've got X number of staff divided by X number of lockers. But whichever way you look at it, someone misses out. The locker debacle continues, I take it. How are you doing? A couple of possible outcomes. We're just ironing out the details. Don't work too late. I don't want you tiring yourself out. Mm, I won't. Why did you lie to him? Because he thinks I'm out of my depth. Uh, I'm not. And actually, I think I've just come up with something. Um, hi. Most of the doctors have exam rooms, right? Right. Which means that they've already got somewhere to keep all their stuff. Therefore, they don't actually need lockers as well. I am seriously loving the way you think. <laughs> Guys, how would you feel about sacrificing your lockers for the greater good and keeping your gear in your exam room? Uh, exam rooms don't have locks. Oh, close proximity to showers. Well, you could still shower in the locker room. You just take your stuff with you. Come on. What about the great unwashed masses who have neither? I know a couple of nurses who keep their stuff under the desk. Oh, no, 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 no. OK? You're not pulling a guilt trip on me over that. OK? We work just as hard as you guys, and we deserve the lockers just as much as you. Yeah. What he said. Trust me. The last thing you want is a whole heap of unhappy doctors on your hands. Got a minute? Is it work-related? Surgical tourism conference in the States. Did you check it out? I did. I've approached the DHB about funding, awaiting reply. Anything else? What about our own proposal? I've made a few changes to my draft. We should address those and a few other things. Sorry, I'm up to my neck in DHB figures. Sure. How are you looking tomorrow? Uh, war to war meetings, I'm afraid. Sorry, am I in... No, not at all. Come in. I have read all the emails you sent me, so if you're worried about me being behind, don't be. This stuff is important, Rachel. I don't want to leave things up in the air. I will look at the changes you've made and we'll organise a meeting later on in the week. That's what you said last week. This is getting beyond ridiculous. Sophie will ring you with a time. OK, I admit it. I whinge and moan about my job, but at the end of the day, I would do nursing above anything else. That's because you love it and you're good at it. I know. <laughs> what is this? It's great. Local. Friend of a friend's band. Can't remember their name. Come on. No, I'm full of lasagna. Pardon up, Mason. <laughs> oh. Oh. How oh, thank you for an extremely fun night and thank you for some extremely yummy food. <laughs> Bye. Bye. 
What did you go and do that for? You scared her off. I don't think so. You did. You were mad because I was having fun and you sent her away with your sensibleness. Should we run after her and plead her to come back? Would that make you happy? You're jealous of her, aren't you? No. Really? Not even a little bit. Yeah, that's disappointing. Mm, well, that's what happens when you're a boring old couple. Oh, apathy, please, no. Death before apathy. <laughs> you are such a drama queen. What I meant is that I trust you. You're being very strange tonight. Am I? You won't even fight with me. It's no fun. So, am I too late? For tonight's courier, yes. Oh, I can get in for first thing tomorrow. Okay, as long as it gets here by 10. Why am I now in the centre of a dispute over who deserves lockers more? Doctors, nurses everywhere shouting at me about rights. Sorry, I may... So, are you completely on top of this and about to resolve it? Almost. Really? Because I'm beginning to have my doubts and you have other things to do, like the newsletter. It's written and it's ready to copy. Good. So by the end of play tomorrow, I don't want to hear the word locker ever again, OK? OK. OK, good. Man, I thought being Callum's PA was tough. What are you going to do? Sharing. Why can't people share lockers? Well, as long as you get to share with someone cool. Saying. Well, then we'll let people choose who they want as their locker partner. Or write down a few options, maybe. Well, then you can, like, matchmake everybody. Oh, that's a seriously big job, so... Do you know how many staff there are? You got any better ideas? <sighs> Nominate three possible locker buddies and return to Sophie by lunchtime. This will never work. Developments in a locker gate. Mm. Lucky ask you to choose the locker buddy of our choice. Not sharing with you, by the way. You're too messy. I didn't want to share with you anyway. Here, it's the one from last night. You can borrow it. Oh, no, don't be silly. I'll get my own copy. Or maybe not. You saw me dance. It really shouldn't be encouraged. <laughs> well, give me stones at 9.30. Let's try to contain our excitement. <sighs> See, you did it again. She thinks you don't like her, so she's being all distant. Wow. I'm pretty good. You do know it's just a friendship thing, eh? Of course. But I wouldn't blame you if you did fancy her. She's smoking hot. Ten thirty. How are you placed? Sorry. I've had a cancellation. I thought we could go over the proposal. Oh well, I told you last night. I'm busy all day. It's a long shot, I guess. Did you get the document? I left it with Sophie. Yeah, I read it and it's fine. So let's organise a meeting and get moving on this. When's good? Uh, maybe later in the week. Oh, I don't know. Would you please stop fobbing me off? I'm not. Yes, you are. You are deliberately trying to avoid spending time with me. I'm not an ogre. What is the problem? You are the problem. We're part of each other's lives. We have to work together on the same projects. We need to interact like adults, or at the very least, professionals. I am entirely professional in everything that I do. Then set up a meeting. I will when I'm ready. Have you seen this? Rachel McKenna's mini-me is making us share lockers. I'm not sharing my locker. Well, you don't have any say in the matter. Actually, that's not entirely true. You get to nominate three people that you'd like to share with. Uh -huh. Highly risky. The most normal person in the world can be a closet apple core hoarder. It's impossible to spot. Oh. No prizes for guessing who Jennifer will want to share with. What? She and Nicole, they're gagging for each other. Why would you think that? Mm -hmm. The tight little coven they're formed in theatre. They're joined at the hip, one protecting the other. Look at Maya, she's been watching her like a hawk. It boils down to a shift in thinking, really. Instead of commercial cleaners going in after an operation, we train specialist cleaners. Isn't it hugely expensive? Strangely, no, and it seems to work for everyone. They gain a unique skill, we gain a whole lot more confidence. It's really common in the private sector. Well, keep me posted. Yeah, we'll do. And what were you two whispering about? Let me guess, you were trying to seduce her. If you're anywhere near the drugs cupboard at lunchtime, I'd knock before entering. I know what you're doing, Maya Jeffries. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Oh, 
Chris, there's a call for you. Somebody from Lagoon something? Laguna Niguel. Take a message, thanks. Avoiding calls from our surgical tourism friends by any chance, Chris? I would prefer not to. Well, I don't need to remind you how important it is that we get this right. I couldn't agree with you more. Rachel, however, may need more convincing. What's that supposed to mean? It means she's doing everything she can to ensure we screw this up. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. She's 100% behind this. No, she's being deliberately obstructive. For starters, I didn't want to take that call because I have nothing to say, because Rachel refuses to take meetings with me. You haven't finished the proposal? No. You were supposed to wrap this up last week? Yes. Well, Rachel's under tremendous pressure. It's understandable that she can't find the time. No, it's not. We have a job to do. Rachel has a professional obligation to see this through. And I'm sure she will when she's able. It needs to be now. Since you have so much influence over her, I'm sure you can make it happen. How's it going? A complete and utter nightmare. Everyone wants TK, no one wants Luke Durbel. I have to admit, I don't blame them. <laughs> So you have to go through each and every one and try and match them up. You're going to be here till midnight. No, I'm not, because Rachel wants it done by the end of play, and somehow I'm going to pull it off. Not going to happen. Not with you distracting me, it's not. Now, shoo. Really? You don't want to see this? What is it? Well, just a little program I threw together, customized to solve your problem quickly and efficiently. Simply enter all the names and the preferences, and the computer figures out the rest. I'd say you'll be sorted within an hour. I can't believe that you did this. It's brilliant. <laughs> well, someone had to give you a break. Well, you have so saved my life. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, I got held up. Oh, that's cool. There's not really a lot to cover. So, we're all on schedule. Pretty much. I'd prefer to allow another hour for the tram flap on Wednesday, just to be on the safe side. Luke was double booked for the bilateral mastectomy, so I got Terry in. Aside from that, I'm happy. Really? That surprises me. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you mean. Well, Isaac bleated to me about the foot amputation. Yes, I heard. For the record, I have no problem whatsoever with your decisions, but I do with the ongoing tension between you. That needs to be addressed. What exactly did he say? <sighs> Something about you making decisions based on Nicole's personal relationship with a patient. That is completely ridiculous. Very likely. Well, why waste the energy?